Hello, this is Omega Plumbing Services. I wanted to show you something that I did during the pandemic. It was a pretty good job. We did a uh, Rose's Landing. And I don't know what the hotel is exactly called. Is it called Rose's Landing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to show you this right now. This is it. The inn at Rose's Landing. I did this job with uh, Pacific Builders of Slow. It was the whole top floor, totally renovated. It's like 12 rooms. And it's located right here on the Embarcadero. And this walk is eventually going to go, I guess, that way. And the, I don't know who's gonna do that, but yeah, he put this in. I don't know what that cost, but there it is. It was, a, it was a really good project. I enjoyed it. So, the inn at Rose's Landing. I did all the plumbing. Not myself, but there you go. It was an exceptional job. And then here is the view you get. And the rock. So, I live in Morro Bay, and... Uh, it's a very, uh, very nice place to live. And there's Tanya, she's taking pictures. And I just figured I'd come down here and show you guys uh, Morro Bay and what's available here. I think it's uh, known, it may not be widely known, but there's a lot of stuff to do here. It's really pretty, really chill. And uh, I'll show you around, come on. There's the walk. A little restaurant in there. Look down. There. We did another little job out on the water that was out in uh, on a pier, Harford Pier. That's over that way, Avila Beach. So you have uh, Montana de Oro right over that way. You have this harbor. You have the rock. Those are the three stacks, they're very famous. They are now defunct. They're very loud. I think they're slowly gonna work on this guy right here. I don't know exactly what's happening, but whatever was there is now out of business. Here's the hotel, little boutique place. You can enter up that way. I don't know if they let you go up there. Let's see here. Maybe, maybe not. I think you're allowed to because you can visit Coastal Accent. Yeah, public viewing deck. Here we go. Guests only in there. Oh, they put tables up here. It's interesting. Yeah, I did everything. All the floor drains, all the gas to all those things. There's a restaurant below. Anyway, here's the viewing deck. They have a problem with seagulls, as you can imagine. It's interesting how they get rid of the seagulls. Uh, what they do up top, I don't know if they still, if it's still in action, but it, uh, there's a motion sensor up there, and as soon as the motion sensor goes off, a sprinkler goes off, and it sprinkles water, and they they take off. But when we were doing this place, they had a bunch of seagulls here, and they had nests all over the place, and they would. Um, yeah, little green eggs. They have. I don't know if you've ever seen a seagull's egg. It's interesting. Maybe I'll put it on there when I edit this video. So this is, they're supposed to over time have these walkable, I don't know, access, coastal access all through here because technically you can't get to the coast right here. So they're supposed to make a, an access all around these buildings because these buildings were put in years ago. 
So they're supposed to be able to access all this. That's some kind of California code or law. You'll see that there's is coastal access, but they want it continuous, like all along this thing. My prediction is obviously, you know, the big money is going to come here, take these things, knock them down, build big old hotels eventually, but not yet. I would say the next wave of crush them and kill them kind of economics. That's what's going to take these guys out. I'm sure the last one there, I mean, there's a lot. Look at this place. Look at all the work that's going to be done on it. It makes more sense just to take it down. Do, do, do. Hey. Supposedly, Baby dudes. I hear that's good. But. Doo -doo -doo. Art Center. There's the rock. If you ever want to know where you are, look for the rock. Grape leaf. I hear that's good too. Wood fired pizza. Never been there. But I know this is good over here. Top dog coffee. Got two favorites, Kayaka's Coffee and Top Dog. Top Dog's good because they have food, decent food. And they also roast their own beans, or at least they used to. Near the guy that previously owned it. So it was at this point that a vendor called me and said someone was trying to use my account to buy some stuff. To be continued.